Hello, I'm Wayne Whistler and I'm Director of CSR International and I'm here in Athens today with John Elkington who's the uh, uh, founder of Sustainability and the uh, chairperson of Volans Ventures and on the board of the Global Reporting Initiative. Welcome John. Thanks Wayne. Uh, I thought we'd just kick off today uh, with uh, your uh, perception of, of where the sustainability and the social enterprise uh, trends are going and what you're finding most interesting at the moment. Well, I think, it, it, as we were saying earlier on today, it's patchy. So here we are in Greece, and uh, many people I've met here in Greece, including some who I even helped teach um, 10, 15 years ago in the area of sustainability and, and so on, came out here hoping that the market would grow quite rapidly, found that it hasn't, that they have to do many other things, um, and I think that patchiness is something we've really got to think about quite carefully. There's been an assumption that we could roll out standards and, and so on, and, and in the end the world would sort of come up with a homogenous um, approach to corporate citizenship and to, to um, uh, the broader agenda of sustainability. And it's clear that that's not going to happen. Yes, there are value chain initiatives and Walmart and others are often referenced, but that only takes us uh, so far. So in a way, I suppose, just as you're looking at uh, some of the local level uh, responses and solutions, uh, one of the reasons why I began to pull out of um, the organization Sustainability a few years back and to set up uh, Volans Ventures was I, I, needed, I felt I needed to be able to take much greater risks than I was then able to take. And these were risks with people's livelihoods and salaries, so they were real ones. Um, and what we've been doing at Volant since then is working with entrepreneurs, social and environmental, clean tech uh, people around the world, some of whom probably will never be able to pay us, some of whom will be able to pay us in due course, some of whom can uh, pay in the here and now. And the sorts of things that we're doing with them are enormously diverse. So for example, I've just come here to Athens from Sandford uh, in Holland where I spent three or four days. And that's one of the social enterprises that I've been very closely involved in uh, for quite some uh, years. It's called Aflatoon or Child Savings International and basically they operate in many countries and that they work through schools primarily and the idea is to get children, even if they have no money, even if they're from the poorest of poor families, into the habit of saving. Now what in some sense is why would we be interested in that? For me, uh, much of what we're trying to get governments, uh, businesses, investors, communities, ordinary citizens to do is, is not just about changing their mindset. So it's actually over a period of time not phenomenally difficult to change the way people think. It's really difficult to get to them to change the way that they behave day to day. And I think you only get behavioral change that is consistent and sticks if you get cultural change. So part of what I'm trying to think about is how do you get that cultural change. And getting children to think about savings, and also to some degree, not just about putting money in a piggy bank, but or a sort of a community bank, but how do you invest? I mean, how, how do you think about the returns that you might get? Emotional returns, financial returns, community returns, whatever. Um, and, and, and so we're, we're working with quite a number of organizations um, like that. And then just, just to pull it to uh, some sort of conclusion, I think we're at a very interesting uh, and challenging juncture in all of this. I think that um, the uh, agenda's been evolving for quite some time, uh, it was on a roll through the 90s, it's been somewhat challenged uh, th through the last decade, but we've got the whole green economy, clean technology, these sorts of areas coming up very fast. Um, I think the next decade is being, going to be absolutely fascinating. I think it's where a lot of this is going to come into the mainstream, but be inflected by mainstream politics, mainstream uh, values for better or worse. So we're really going to have to fight for the agenda as people embrace it and then try and redefine it. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to the GRI point, uh, we just published at the GRI Amsterdam uh, conference a report called The Transparent Economy and it basically looks out uh, over the next decade, 2020, and says that we're headed towards a much more transparent uh, world, transparent economy, transparent supply chains, transparent companies, you name it. But it's not going to go in a straight line, and it's not primarily, uh, perhaps paradoxically, I think, going to be driven by printed annual triple bottom line sustainability non-financial reporting. I think it's going to come at us a very different 
uh, uh, route. And so part of what I'm doing is trying to explore some of that stuff. And as you know, the, the, one of the themes here in, in, in Athens is very much the impact and role of social media, impact on brands and reputations, role in communicating with the wider world. So the fascinating thing about this area is there's always new stuff to learn. And now I've got to go back and do a session where I try and share some of that with um, some Greeks. Uh, one one uh, final question then. I mean, we are in Greece and you can't really be here without realizing the trauma of, yeah. of the financial crisis. Yeah. And how's that affecting sustainability and, and the response uh, uh, to CSR? Well, I, I, just to back up a little bit, I feel that sustainability is going to be impossible unless we have a really major economic meltdown. And I, I've been feeling that we were headed towards some element of that for some uh, years. I don't think as yet we have had enough of that crisis to really force a rethink. I don't think we've really re rethought the banking industry. I don't think we've thought, uh, rethought uh, regulation. The BP scandal that's going on, the catastrophe that's going on at the moment, shows just how corrupted the uh, UK regulatory uh, system was, quite apart from how uh, abominably poorly run certain parts of BP's. Uh, acti activities uh, were so. I, it's complicated, but I, I, I think this is this is you can't any longer just point it at one part of the system and saying you know business or investors or governments or whatever to blame. This is a systemic uh, uh, failure. I think in Greece the the crisis is hitting at a much earlier stage than it is in countries like the UK, for example. Um, but at the same time, I think the very fact that uh, Greece is a very internationally minded country in terms of trading means that over the next 10 or 15 years, I, I would feel fairly confident you're going to see this area of transparency and accountability and uh, to some degree reporting coming up the curve quite powerfully uh, even here. Okay, well thanks for sharing your thoughts today. Thanks Wayne. All right, bye.